I'm Babs Gray, and even in quarantine, Paul Dano collects teeth. <laughs> uh, this is Brandy Posey, and just so everyone knows, tomorrow, Thursday, whatever day that is, is day 69 of quarantine on my calendar. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not going to do anything for it, but it's just that's just a marking of time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tess Barker, and I'm actually not super into mermaids, but I understand why the algorithm thinks I am. <laughs> and this is Lady to Lady. Can you keep a secret? Neither can we. We got Barbara Brandy and of course Big Tess. We got a show for everyone that's the fucking best. Come on, baby. It's time to hang out with your favorite lady. Ladies and ladies, ladies and ladies. Let's get to it. Let's bring on our guest. We're really excited to have her. She's a hilarious comedian. You've probably seen her all over the internet. She just went viral for her Trump lip syncs. Uh, and she's an author. She's written 100 Tricks to Appear Smart in Meetings and How to Be Successful Without Hurting Men's Feelings. Sarah <laughs> Cooper, hi. Hi. Thank you so much for having me. I'm, I'm a big fan of all you guys. Babs, I didn't even recognize you, but I follow you on Twitter, too. So. Oh. Yeah, no, I was like, oh, we're, I was like, oh, we're, Twitter, for, yeah. we're Twitter people. Aww. That's always, someone gave me that advice, because I don't know about you, but I have a hard time with, like, names and stuff yeah. like that. And mm-hmm. my friend uh, gave me this advice. He was like, you can always just say, don't we follow each other on Twitter? And that's usually true. Like, if you don't know whether you know someone or not, you can be like, don't we follow each other on Twitter? Because even if it's not true, they're going to agree with you. Right. That's actually yeah. very good. That's a very good tip. Because I, I just have that straight, like, deer yeah. in the headlights, like, terrified. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't know. Do we know each other? <laughs> yeah, that's a great way to, like, sneak a name. That's better than the whole, like, hey, uh, you guys know each other, right? And then your friend, there's nothing worse than like being in a situation where you know that you don't know another person's name yeah. and then your friend doesn't do you the solid mm-hmm. of picking up the cue mm-hmm. to like make that other introduction. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. I can't wait till we can have that horrible I interaction know. again. <laughs> <laughs> don't you miss crazy. it? Oh. I know. It's going to be so fun when I'm like, I don't. Even during quarantine, I never learned your name. I could have learned anything and I never learned your name. <laughs> <laughs> I passed by this girl the other day and she was just like, in quarantine, I want to learn how to do the splits. That's my goal. And I was like, dude. <laughs> I mean, I, I like, you know, an achievable, one goal. achievable goal. I like, mean, the splits is no small feat, especially if you're over 12. Okay. <laughs> she was definitely over 12. Yeah. <laughs> Can never, never do it. I before. actually, oh, the splits kind of give me like the heebie-jeebies because when I was twelve, I was at like a <laughs> rehearsal for Oliver or some shit, and we were doing like vocal warm-ups, and so to like flex in front of all my like gay boyfriends, I jumped down to the splits, and my <gasps> hip popped out of socket. My legs were like a T. I heard it just go. Yeah. I feel like this has to be a common theater teen injury. Yes. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah. I, d- I did something similar. Like I tried to do a jump or something to impress all my like gay theater uh, boys. <laughs> and I landed on my back on the stage. I remember doing that. Yeah, oh they need a award just for all of us <laughs> yeah. trying to tap I mean, dance for our yeah. theater friends. Yeah, it's all the like- millenn- yeah. We've looked into the dangers of high school football, but we really need to be. <laughs> what is the CTE this? version? Of- yeah, it's millennial hip replacements yeah. that are going to start happening in our 40s. <laughs> I just love that we were trying to impress people that didn't care about us at all. Like it was just like pointless. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be my boyfriend if I can do the splits, <laughs> said no s- straight man ever. <laughs> Can you death drop <laughs> on my dick? No, that doesn't. <laughs> hmm. I have heard that line. thinking yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Sarah, how's life for you? Like, you went super viral. Is it is it crazy or, like, how does it feel? Yeah, it's been crazy. It's so funny because I want I want it to go viral. Like, <laughs> I wrote, I wrote, oh, a, I wrote a tweet, like, uh, two weeks before it happened about how like I was talking to my mom about going viral and she's like, do you mean the virus? And I was like, no, I want to go viral on the internet. I don't care about the virus. Um, yeah, I don't want to get 
COVID. And, I would like and, followers. Yeah. And somebody <laughs> responded like, well, I've been following you for a while and I don't think you have to worry about that. Oh, <laughs> oh that's nice. In your face, oh. whoever that was. Um, <laughs> oh, I thought they were saying it to me. I thought they were like, yeah, hey, me too. Oh, no, yeah, you're not going to go viral. Oh, no. okay. They were like, I've seen your content. This is, oh. nobody cares about this shit. Um, oh. glad, glad you're following though. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> being a fan. I'll take it. Always nice when people are following you. All, all they do is talk shit seriously yeah. even they think they're being like supportive or nice or funny and then it just sound like so mean i don't know yeah, yeah. and anyway. weird so yeah. yeah i i uh i wanted to go viral i did and then if the first week was like oh lots of views you know that's kind of cool mm-hmm. it's funny because <laughs> i my 11 year old nephew introduced me to tiktok like a year ago and he doesn't think i'm funny like he doesn't follow yeah. me on tiktok like he, to him, the funniest thing is this kid at his school who wears a do rag and carries around a stuffed cat in his backpack and talks back to the teachers. Like to him, that's the funniest <laughs> shit he's ever seen in his life. It's really funny. It's really funny. <laughs> Fuck all of you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're like, wait a minute. What is? I want to follow. What's his handle? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like my imposter syndrome coming true is me talking about this thing that's stupid and you guys going, no, wait, more about that. Please. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, I'm really impressed that you're like uh, a, a person that's not a teenager that is really good on TikTok because I've seen so many people in their 30s on TikTok I've, that I'm just I, it's so embarrassing. Yeah. But you've you've nailed it. I, <laughs> I've, awesome. ru- I've ruined TikTok because I don't think I'm supposed to be there. Like, I'm really not supposed yeah. to be there. Um, and I feel yeah. bad about that. Now, all these like middle aged white guys are like, I'm joining TikTok just because of you. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't get okay. it was gonna. They were gonna do it anyway. Don't feel bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was the t- their their fate. I yeah. was. Yes. Uh, talk, we were talking to some friends who have a girl who's 11 years old, and they were like, "Yeah, she's always on TikTok, and because of that, everywhere she goes, she has to dance. Like, she goes to get cereal, she's dancing." And I was like, "What's not normal about that?" I'm like, "I, <laughs> I'm prancing everywhere." Well, then you should be on TikTok. For should sure. I? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's interesting to me how like, um, you know, teenagers. It, I guess, like, kind of when teen culture became the, like, predominant culture or whatever Mm -hmm. back in the, like, 50s or whatever, Mm -hmm. but, like, Mm -hmm. after World War II and it was, like, swing dancing and then all of a sudden it became, like, pop music and stuff like that and now that's just continuing in like a totally different way but with tiktok and, and adults are like how do i make money off of this <laughs> yeah. like trying yeah. to figure it out these juvenile delinquents on their tiktok <laughs> <laughs> how do i monetize this but it's just that like yeah. like teens have so much time and energy to devote to something and devote to yeah. being fans of something so like they're the ones who are you know what i mean uh, like taking in all this content like and making it, I don't know, popular. It's just interesting. I find that it's actually getting younger and younger. Like they want influencers mm-hmm. who are younger and younger. And it's all just like their business model, like hook them when they're young or like, oh, totally. you know, get the audience when they're like totally fresh. And so, mm-hmm. yeah, it's just like, that's why all these people are like, oh, I'm 30 and I'm on TikTok. I'm so old. And I'm like, 30 is not old. But, not but, old. but there's somebody who's like, oh, God, I'm 26 on TikTok and I'm not TikTok famous yet. I'm like, 26 isn't old, but they feel old because there's people on there that have been there and there since they were nine, you know? Yeah. Wow. For sure. Yeah. yeah well, like t- the phrase TikTok famous yeah. It, it, it has only existed for less than a year. I know. And before that, it just sounded like TikTok famous. <laughs> like <laughs> 15 minutes is up. It was yeah. like, yeah, exactly. very small. Ver- <laughs> I don't know. I yeah. think it's kind of like adorable. Like, I kind of love it. Like, I feel like we're living in a very West Side Story moment. <laughs> and I just think it's cute that all the kids are like jazz hands. I don't know. I, I like it. It's very to me. It's oh, very yeah. like whimsical. I don't I know where they interesting. Yeah, I, I there's it's just like interesting to me that I'm like, oh yeah, the teens are like deciding what is popular again. You know. Well, okay, but it can of, get yeah. frustrating though because the, yeah, the yeah. girl who's like the most famous on TikTok, she's like worth three million dollars. She's she's mm-hmm. fifteen, and I swear all of her TikToks are just like. <laughs> oh, I think I've seen her. <laughs> like, that's, that's, that's every single one. <laughs> and it's she like, it. it's like, how does this have five million views? It's like, how? <laughs> so, well, that's I, like the most. The richest people on YouTube are the ones that do those weird unboxing videos. Yeah, yeah. There's a five year old yeah. kid who's worth millions of dollars, and all he does is open up presents and toys and stuff like that. 
Man. You guys, what are we doing with our lives? I don't know, I, man. I, I don't know. Honestly. I, I'm just like <laughs> imagining, like just thinking of the hours and hours I've spent like driving to like dive bars in the middle of nowhere to like say <laughs> jokes to people who couldn't give a shit. Mm-hmm. It's just, oh, yeah. To hone like, my craft. Overdrafted yeah. my bank account for some like fake butt. Like it- <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, we did, buy, we did buy a fake butt for ladies yeah. and ladies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you wearing it now? I am. Oh, oh, I <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It yeah, so I mean ridiculous. I'm sure it's uh it's it's just yeah, it's just you know how it all evolves, but it's just interesting to like watch and you never yeah. know what's you never know what the thing is that's gonna hit. I mean obviously you were making like funny videos and you yeah. probably knew when you were making them that we were gonna do like fairly well, right? No, or no? Mm-hmm. no, because I, I, I guess started, you started know. I, I that's the thing that I thought was cool about TikTok is there was clips of Trump speaking and people were lip syncing them. And I saw one of them, which was just like this housewife, like lip syncing Trump. And I was like, that's so weird because she's, you know, low power, low status, like, in, like mm-hmm. has this voice coming out of her mouth. It's like awful, nasty, like uh, disgusting. Yeah, worst, and so it was yeah. just so cool seeing that. And I was just like, that really like puts a, like a huge light on the fact that if women spoke like this, like it would not mm-hmm. be acceptable at all. Mm-hmm. So I started, Absolutely. I started doing it. I started just making like little clips of him um, saying stupid stuff at this press conference, uh, at these daily press conferences. And they didn't do that well. I mean, they did okay. You know, they did like yeah. 600 views or a thousand views or whatever. So like when I made this, I was like, it'll get a thousand views. Maybe I really didn't think that it would go crazy viral, but it did. So you just never yeah. know. Yeah. How long did it take it to go viral? Was it, it went, pretty quick? Yeah, I, it had like probably two million views within twenty four hours. It was wow. crazy. Oh. Yeah. Do you do you know like what the like what the like the moment that started that happened? Like who were like who retweeted you or like I don't know. Oh, gosh. I guess on TikTok it's not retweeted. I, it's you know it's whatever. The, well, I mean TikTok is not for me. TikTok is not really about the community for me. Uh, I, it's yeah. a really great editing tool. So I love yeah. the editing mm. tool on there. Um, Twitter is really my community. I really like Twitter and I, I'm on there all the time. So I really made it on TikTok, but to put it on right, Twitter. Right, for Twitter. I, yeah. That makes Got sense. It, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, because it only has like half a million views on TikTok. It has 17 million but, views on Twitter. So that's what's yeah. so, yeah, I, I just watched it again. And I was like, oh my God, 17 million people. That's just so, mm-hmm. I mean, that's more than, you know, most TV yeah. shows, like every yeah. TV show. <laughs> I know. It's more than multiple states. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, it's yeah. a really powerful tool. And yeah, I mean, I, I don't watch, you know, it's really hard to watch Trump do anything, obviously. Yeah. So it was like, oh, this is like a way I can like support, you know, a funny like female comic and like get this information in a way that like I'm not going to want to mm-hmm. kill myself listening to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's 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 so funny like watching you just like lampoon his like uh, his just his stupid confidence and what a fucking idiot is just the way you hold yourself and everything is just so yeah it, it just really points out what a fucking idiot he is yeah it's awesome yeah stupid confidence <laughs> i think that's exactly what it is mm-hmm. and i wasn't trying to like do an impression of him i was kind of trying to be yeah. like what if i actually said this like what if i mm-hmm. really believed that what i was saying was the smartest possible thing i could say right now and like how yeah. would that come across and mm-hmm. so i think that's part of the reason it's like no, you sound like an idiot. <laughs> like this is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> totally, absolutely. Have you been? Have you been like approached by any like brands or like? Can you just put like a Pepsi behind your next one? <laughs> Thank God, no, I haven't been approached by brands to do that. <laughs> get that free Pepsi, oh, girl. Brand. Yes. Yeah, I did get. It. I got an email. They they want to send me some stuff, but I don't even know if I want to do that because like I, just, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. I, and at a time like this, like, I just feel so stu- I don't even want to promote my books because I'm like, people don't yeah. have money right now. They don't want to, like, I don't know. I just, I, yeah. plus, like, Amazon, like, those workers are, like, mm-hmm. being treated like crap and, like, they're right. not protected. And then you're going to, I'm going to tell them to go buy on Amazon my book to be delivered. Like, no, I don't know. Is yeah. it available at independent bookstores? Um, it, it should be. I don't know. Well, there you but, go. Yeah. <laughs> Independent yeah. and Kindle, you know, digital. So yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Well, let's let's promote them a little bit just in case for after the pandemic. <laughs> what about what about that? What are, like people are, like are gonna want to read after this <laughs> outside mean, I, yeah, in the I world? Got, you know, there's a bookstore <laughs> near me that really needed help, and I just went online and bought some books from them oh, and stuff. You know, that's cool. Recently, so yeah, there's. I think there are like. 
uh, a lot of places obviously struggling who are like you know trying to get yeah. by and, and and sell stuff right now well, like I mean, I you know I, I I don't use Amazon, but I like like I always like taking the extra step to be like, okay, where's this product? Like either their website specifically, or finding something else that I can get it from, and just like, you know, there's other places that are like, hi, we all we also need, yeah, that's need your money. Yeah. Can I tell you guys a cool book story? Yes. What? I yeah. um the other week I had like such a stressful day. I was just so over everything, and I was like, I'm gonna take a bath. I haven't taken a bath in forever. I was like, all I want to do is take a bath tonight and read a book. Like, it's all I want to mm. do is like read a book and, and yeah. take a bath. And I went out to the yeah. mail and mm. my sister had surprised me with a book that like, I literally <laughs> was walking out to the mailbox thinking that I wanted a book and there was a book in my mailbox from my sister. That is to read awesome. Book. Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good book story. I thought we were gonna get something about you dropping the book in the bath, but I guess this is no. also good. <laughs> no, it's just no, like a wholesome. Sorry. It's just a happy present. Wholesome. From- yeah. <laughs> yeah well, I, sometimes that happens on this show. <laughs> just a happy um, wholesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like. When did you? Because the YouTube books are a uh, hundred tricks to appear smart in meetings and how to be successful hurting men's feelings, yeah. which rhymes. Which congratulations. No, I did not. Rhyming your book titles. So embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, did, did that like, uh, do you like have like a corporate world background or is this like c- completely like, Oh from, yeah. 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 I worked at Google for a while. Um, oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah. Heard like, of it? Yeah. I just saw your eyes like go off to like another place. I've been talking, yeah, I have yeah. A, cl- a close friend who works for like one of the biggest, you know, companies in the world and mm-hmm. Just the, like, stranglehold of working in corporate culture and stuff. I mean, I can't work at, like, at a desk or in an office at all. I go fucking crazy. But she's really ha- struggling with it because it's just, like, the, you have no autonomy. Like, it's just, you know, you're, like, part of this huge, uh, like, thing that's just they don't give a fuck about who you are at all. And, I yeah, I, I can't imagine working for Google. It's got to be crazy. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not that way. Like, I actually can sit at a desk all day and be fine. I think I, yeah, yeah. for whatever, I'm a total introvert and like, I can just be on my laptop and probably be okay. So, and in terms of like any corporation, like it's probably the best one to work for mm-hmm. just because they really do like people to do what they are passionate about, um, yeah. for lack of a better word. But at the same time, I mean, that first book, actually both the books are really about how they want you to be yourself, but then they don't really want you to be yourself. And you really do Mm -hmm. have to kind of fit into a mold and act a certain way and put on sort of a show. Um, Yeah. And that's kind of why I left is because I couldn't really put on the show anymore. So was that a hard choice? Because I'm sure having a job at a company like that, like that's got to be fairly tempting to to hang on to something like that. Yeah, I mean, it was, um, you know, because they always like, you know, if you can't be happy at Google, then you're never going to be happy doing anything, you know? Um, mm. But... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's written, written over the doorway on the way into so the office. So inspiring. <laughs> you sign with blood, that with blood when you start. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well... <laughs> That was my perception anyway. My, right, right. my parents no, are like, this is a really great you know, job and you have a, a salary, you have health insurance, you have all these things. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, that was tough to leave. But then when I told my boss that I was leaving, he was like, you can always come back. It doesn't work out. So I was like, is it really that much of a risk if I can always go back? No, and it's not yeah. really that much of a risk. Hell so. no. That's the best. That's like the doing choose your own adventure and then keeping the little place so you can come right, back and go change back it. it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 the exactly. Best of both worlds. Yeah, <laughs> and for a long time, I thought I would go back because I it, first year was just like hard, and I think the biggest thing is like when you work for yourself. You, I didn't realize you. I need community. Like I need people yes. that I can talk to, and I can't just be alone on my laptop creating things. Because then, like, if I have nothing coming in, then it's impossible to have anything oh, yeah, coming out. Totally. <laughs> Um, Absolutely. And then so it's like an extra effort because like at work, you just go to work and you have all your people there. Like when you don't have that, you have to like find that somewhere, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been having a hard time being creative in quarantine because, yeah, it's just like I can't manufacture really a lot of, you know, nothing's coming to my mind because I'm like just here. And everybody is sick of it sick of yeah. talking about the pandemic and quarantine it's yeah. like we're over it already like exactly ugh. i know it's really hard to like 
I, that's why I've been like a lot of comedy shows I'm doing. I've just been writing roast jokes because it's like oh, that's, that's a good for idea. whatever reason. Because my old material like pu- doesn't ring true anymore because yeah. we're not mm-hmm. like going to the grocery store isn't what it used to be, obviously. But then, yeah, it's like who really wants to talk about binge watching Netflix anymore? <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a. Uh... It's yeah. weird, too, because we just got this, like, in L.A., at least, like, you know, the stay-at-home's lasting another few months, and it's like, okay, so maybe we're at the halfway point, but we don't know, and yeah. it just feels like it's been so long already, so you're like... Yeah. What's the deal with my neighbor's driveway? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I guess I guess that is a good point, though. It, it kind of is teaching us to, like, find tiny, small mm-hmm. details of things that we see, like, over and over again. Like, look at it in a different way, maybe. That is true. I'm definitely, mm-hmm. like, appreciative, because I find, like, when I drive to the beach recently, and, like, yeah, I'm appreciating mm-hmm. things a lot more than I have in the past, so that's yeah. that's a good I feel like it. I didn't appreciate being able to just go to one, like, every night. I didn't no, appreciate yeah. it. I was just, like, a lot of times I was like, eh, I can go, I can not go, you know, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm like, I don't have the choice. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't have the choice, and that sucks. Yeah, I would kill to like sit at a dive bar for two hours and listen uh. to a bunch of people eat a dick. Uh. I would. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I can't wait to hear somebody bomb in person again. <laughs> I know. This, these Zoom shows are just awkward. They're so hard. Yeah, they're they're yeah. really. It's a whole other thing. I mean, I've been doing one on Instagram. That's a little better because it's like you don't have to like look at everyone or I don't know, not hearing laughter is almost better than just hearing one like weird distant laugh, but mm-hmm. yeah, it's yeah. still very, it's very strange. It's not well, what it's we're been, used to. Yeah. Well, it's its own thing. It's like, I kind of like, okay, this is like a different skill set than stand up. You know, it's like, this is me just yeah. kind of vl- vlogging. We're monologuing. Pe- yeah. 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 You're just monologuing more than anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, we got to take a break, but we'll be right back. BRB. Hey everybody, it's Babs and Brandy, and we are bringing you some fun stuff to watch while you are in quarantine. We both have comedy shows going on right now in the core. Uh, Mine is Comedy Quarantine, and it's every weeknight at 7 p.m. Pacific Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Time on Instagram Live. If you follow Comedy Quarantine on Instagram, you can see all the lineups for the shows. It's super fun. Uh, Every show is like less than an hour long. It's only like 45 minutes, so you just pop in, watch some really great comics, We've had amazing lineups, and it's a really good time. So, yeah, every weeknight at 7 p.m. Pacific time, come check us out there on yeah, Instagram. It's, it's really fun. I love doing Comedy Quarantine. It's a good-ass show. Um, and then my show on Saturday. So we've got you covered from Monday through Saturday with Lady to Lady yeah. content, baby. <laughs> um, every Saturday, um, uh, I, I'm bringing picture this back. Uh, it's a Zoom show. Um, uh, tickets are $10 where you Venmo Naked Comedy uh, or PayPal.me slash Naked Comedy. $10 by Friday evening um, and then the show is every Saturday at 2 o'clock uh, Pacific time that way you've got like a nice little break in the middle of your day the show is an hour long um, and it's really transferred super well to like the Zoom platform like you guys can like you can be laugh- laughing you can hear people like th- this is the show where artists are just drawing uh, your jokes and everything and it's been super super fun to like be able to do this again live and this this weekend uh, actually we have um, old uh, our baby Eric Dorian's doing the show Wendy Starling Megan Keister uh, this guy named Mandel from Atlanta that is like the funniest dude. Oh, he's, he's so, so funny. funny show. And then our artists are insane too because like we have some of like the head artists on shows like Bojack Horseman. And oh, actually this week we've got uh, Luke McGarry who has my favorite credit in all of Picture This History. He did the um, Festival Supreme posters for the Jack Black Comedy Festival and he drew so many dicks uh, on the posters that the city of Santa Monica sent him personally a cease and desist <laughs> letter. <laughs> Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> He's got it framed and it's just like, yeah. So that's what you get out of a picture of this show. Um it's the best. It's every Saturday uh, and then like I host every other one and then our New York hosts uh, one of the other ones, but message me, get you all the info and that stuff is all up on on my website and, you know, uh Twitter and all that yeah, shit too. Yeah, it's a really it, this is a really cool time to like if you've ever seen us post about shows, you know, that and been like, "Oh, I, I remember when I lived in Salt Lake, I would see LA lineups and be like, "God, I want to be in LA so bad." I mean, this yeah. is your chance to see the lineups that like like you would not be able to see because, you know, we have comics from everywhere doing these shows and you can mm-hmm. tune in from anywhere. So yeah. it's a really good chance to see that. And yeah, picture this transfer super well to Zoom. It's really fun to watch and really fun to be a part of the, you know, you can be in the chat talking to everybody mm-hmm. while you're watching it. It's a really good time. Yeah, it's been super goofy. I mean, like, and it's, 
you discover weird new things in all of your jokes in that show, and it's just been fun just to like goof around and just feel like, oh, this feels like stand up again in a really fun way. <laughs> yeah, and oh my god, that moment when we discover Rita Wilson and Wilson from Castaway was like that was such a great. <laughs> I'm so glad I was there for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I lost my mind. I was like, wait a second, the the volleyball is. Wilson and his wife's name is Rita Wilson. Man, guys, I'm just discovering conspiracies all over the place. Having a blast. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good time. So yeah, come come check us out uh, again. I'm that my show's Instagram uh, comedy quarantine on Instagram, and then picture this is on Zoom, and but you can find it. Um, you know, all the information is on Instagram as well. So follow us on all the stuff, and um, get back to the show. And we're back. Hey. Hey. Lady to lady. <laughs> I was like, I'm not usually the one who says my name first. And I realized that after I said it, I don't know. I'm Tess. I'm Brandy. I'm Sakura <laughs> Sarah Cooper. Hey. Um, yeah. Let's uh, play some gay. Let's do it. We're going to do some, some would you rathers, which is a good quarantine game, I think. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a nice like, here's just, this is a time killer game, right? <laughs> Yeah, sure. I mean, that's all we're doing all the time now. Yeah, yeah. Would you rather, 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 Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, I just want to say that this this website we're getting this from, which is manifestsmagic.com, just asked me if it could send push notifications to my desktop. Same. Same. <laughs> oh, God. And I said no. Great. I'm like, no. I think I'm okay on that, magics. Oh, no. manifest magic? <laughs> magics yeah. manifest? <laughs> Um, okay, oh, would you rather have free Starbucks for the rest of your life or free Netflix, Hulu, and Prime subscriptions forever? Netflix, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Starbucks yeah. gets disgusting if you have too much of it. Like, it's disgusting. Yeah, right? I can't do, like, a ton of it. I, I guess I also just haven't been having it at all, so it's like, I feel like I got it out of my system. Me too. Sort of. I used to yeah. go, like, all the time, and now I'm like, I don't even really crave it anymore. Oh, yeah. There's a drive through Starbucks right by my mom's house where I'm quarantining, and that's, like, my highlight of every day. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've just been, like, I learned how to make – I've been making lattes on my own and stuff. I don't have a, you know, ca- whatever, espresso yeah. maker, but I just found out how to, like, make sort of a latte, so I've just been doing that, and that's, that's nice. good. Yeah. So, yeah, sure, I'll take Netflix. Yeah, no, absolutely. It'd be nice just to, you know – not to pay for those. My roommate has like an espresso machine that I use oh, like once yeah. a week. But that's like, I just barely drink caffeine that, much, that often anyway. So, so Tess, would you do Starbucks? Yeah, I would do Starbucks. Okay. I love Starbucks. I would, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, because I probably drop a good 35 bucks a week on Starbucks if I'm being honest. Oh, easily. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. right. It's expensive as <laughs> yeah. fuck. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah, it should I will say I added, I like, so now Netflix is cracked down on the screen usage, you know, and so you can't, if you have more than one person watching a screen, it'll like, I'll kick you. you off. Oh, really? Oh. I didn't know that. Huh. Yeah, if you have two different screens going, so now you have to add like profiles and that's extra money or whatever, whatever. Um, mm-hmm. So I added, the, I mean, it's like $2 a month extra, but my mom, I was like, Back when I was back home, you know, she wanted to use it, so I added her, and now I'm like always on there trying to see what she's watching, and I'm like, "Mom, is my two bucks worth it, or what are you using?" <laughs> but I should, I guess, I just it. should go in there and fuck up her algorithm, and before the next time, <laughs> she put on a bunch of porn, a Netflix yeah. porn. Is there any Netflix no. porn? Like, I don't think there no. is. Oh, there Not is. Yet. There is. Wait. Oh, there is. Ooh, really? There's Hulu porn. It's called uh, Normal People. You guys seen that? Oh, yeah. I'm oh, reading no. the book. I'm reading the book, which I didn't realize was just teenage sex. And I was like, this is very awkward. It's hardcore. Oh. It's hardcore. Oh. Oh. It's p- porn based off of a novel. It's not, wow. it's not really, but it might as well <laughs> but be. But it's everyone's like really, everyone's <laughs> flicking it to it, I think. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, they're just, te- okay. <laughs> there's well, it teen, starts teens off, it's like, it's like a relationship between two people. They meet when they're in high school and then it goes I see. Past okay, that, cool. but like when they first meet, it's just about them having sex as teenagers, and you're like, okay. 
Got and it. I had no idea what it was about. I just bought it. And then I was like, oh, all right. Well, I wasn't expecting Yeah, this. right, Babs. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We believe you. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. That sounds like brand. No you would never. You would <laughs> never. <laughs> okay. Would you, would you rather have no eyebrows or just one eyebrow? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm well, thinking okay. about the one. The question is, if no eyebrows, you can't draw them on, right? Like, this is just like no nothing up there. This is like a. I think. Um, I think you could bald. draw them on. So then you but, just have but, one. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I think I could draw one eyebrow well, but drawing two eyebrows well well is always difficult. It's like doing your eyes. So I think you just if get I had those little one real stencil one, things. Oh yeah, that's true. It would be fun to have one that was regular and then one that you could just draw like your emotions with on the other side. I think that could be kind of fun. <laughs> that could be good. I disagree. I think I would say no eyebrows because I would want them to look similar. I would hate for one to look realistic mm-hmm. and then the other one to like not. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you, Sarah. Yeah, I'm with you. I think it's. I'd rather also, have it like, be Also, like, is the equal. one in the middle or is it on? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think it's... you make a good point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have two eyebrows and they're not the same shape, so. In, I don't know why I'm acting like this is hypothetical because my eyebrows have nothing to do with each other. But. Yeah. <laughs> is this a good idea for a movie, guys? Like um, maybe a horror movie where somebody jokingly plays this game and then like, but somehow the choices you make, you have to. <laughs> oh, you actually in, have to do them? Indoor. Oh, no. no, no, no. This is good. You. It's good. It's good. It's, it's a group of kids and yeah. they, they hear there, there's like a lore, like old lore. Like if you play this game, the thing actually happens. They're like, no, that's not true. And they actually end up doing it and then it happens. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. No, I like it. I like it. <laughs> we did it. Would you um, rather? Speaking dress- of eyebrows, yes. <laughs> uh, Sarah, do you watch Drag Race? No, I should. Oh, yeah, because okay. the eyebrows are amazing. Like, the eyebrows are amazing. <laughs> yeah. And like, it's so crazy. It's very soothing to like watch them do their makeup. But it's crazy because mm-hmm. they put a fake eyebrow over their real brow. But in order to do it, they like. They have spike, to glue it down, right? They glue they, their regular yeah, eyebrow it. down and they like spike it up. It's so trippy. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, they glue it down, mm-hmm. spike it up and then cover it with makeup and then put the fake one. Amazing. Yeah. It's so much work. My God. It's I know. Amazing. It's crazy. I know. It's I'm so, so impressed impressive. by them. I know. <laughs> I've been, I was like, I really like would like to actually learn how to do my makeup at some point, you know? I would too, but, but it's never going to happen. <laughs> I know. I, I've said it. I've been yeah. saying it for so long. And this is my workaround solution, which makes zero sense, which is that I have extra room. I have, like, basically one half of my bedroom has, like, nothing in it. And mm. I was like, if I put a vanity there, then I'll learn how to do makeup because I'll ah, actually be, yeah. able, be able to sit. Because, like, in your bathroom sucks, you know? I'm not going to, like, stand yeah. up and, like, learn. But also, I yeah. think this is just an excuse for me to buy something. No, I don't know you should do it. fully support that. I think you should. I, I, think yeah. you should. I think you should do stand-up comedy while you're doing your makeup and, like, oh edit your makeup. God. I think it'll be funny. Yeah. If, if for that yes. reason alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want you to have the full Sunset Boulevard experience. I want the I, lights that's around. That's kind of what I want, a robe. I want the robe. Yes. Just <laughs> but be, be aware that when you get, when you get lights in your, in your bathroom, any light, bright lights, you will see things on your face that you've never seen before. Like, it will be an experience. You'll be like, holy shit. I am shit. worried about that because yeah. <laughs> I'm not, like, I did kind of, you know, skincare has obviously been all the rage, and I kind of tried to get into it last year, but then I realized... Like, that I was like, oh, I'm just seeing my skin looks more fucked up because I'm looking at it yeah. very closely. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I, before, I would just be kind of like, oh, it looks fine. And now I'm like, oh, but what about this thing? And I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, fuck this. I'm going to stop doing this. <laughs> yeah. So I am worried about that. I don't want to be magnifying all these issues that it's like, who gives a well, shit? Well, really? I think you just get, like, some warm bulbs. Fuck if your makeup <laughs> is actually accurate. Like, all you really care about is your reflection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, exactly. I'm just trying to live that uh, soft glow yes. uh, filter on everything life. <laughs> but are you in front of a, a, a window, Brandy? I have a window, but I also have the like uh, the, the soft filter on, okay. on my Zoom. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yes, you. it's very nice. Yeah, it was raining in LA. Yeah, I have my like window, my office, my like off or a desk window is like right in front of me. It's nice. Yeah, it's a nice gray day today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's here too. Yeah. Yeah. Good it's day nice. for reading, guys. Good day for reading. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely got definitely got some reading reading plans later. Read Can't about wait. some teens having sex <laughs> in my in my bedroom. <laughs> Perfect. Um I got a real hard hitting would you rather. Okay. Uh would you rather dress in neon yellow or neon pink for the rest of your life? Wow. <laughs> it's so funny that that's on here. It's like Yeah, pink for sure. Pink for sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, because yellow, you're going to look like a, a construction worker, right? That's true. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm trying to just think what tone looks better, and I guess, well, like on me, and I think it's pink, but... You would yeah. look so good in neon yellow, because red hair. I was thinking hair. the same thing, yeah. Would yeah. I? I, 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 get, I don't know. Yellow doesn't tend to go really well with my skin, because it's just really? so... Because I'm just so white. Go, go find so something pale. yellow and put it on right now so that we can see. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm wearing like neon green right now, and that's pretty close, and I feel I like, like I like it, kind of yeah. Washed up. Yeah, I think like a real okay. pop, like a highlighter would be. Let me hold up a highlighter to you. Let's see. I've got this yarn here still. Let me just hold this up to okay. your face. Oh, see. see. Yeah. 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 Babs, I like yellow. See, yellow. I think. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's Yeah, I think, Babs, think, I think, is <laughs> yeah, I think no, the pink would look good, look good with your red hair, Babs. No. Yeah, that's true. I'm, hold, that's I'm true. holding this yellow highlighter up to right underneath of your chin. I think it looks great. It I looks think really I good. Do. <laughs> I think I have to go yellow, even though, well, first of all, my blonde hair is hiding right now because I haven't been able to get it done but um even though you I might have as well go hair, full yeah I think I'm gonna go yellow because if I'm being honest I don't love the color pink at all wow. that's surprising get that's surprising. the fuck off this line right now <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry wow I mean actually I have a theory that like that's part of like misogyny is they gave us this like kind of ugly color like pink <laughs> most blue is a way prettier color than pink Objectively. I love, I love pink. Wow. I love blue. Blue is my favorite color, so you uh, you do have a point there. Yeah, I yeah. do think blue yeah. is overall more appealing, but I like pink a lot. Yeah, I think I've grown to like pink as I've gotten older. I, uh, as a kid, I was like very militantly against it <laughs> as like a tomboy. Well, yeah, I mean, the fact that it's thrust time, upon but... us in any way is fucking insane. But... Yeah, no, yeah, no thrusting for me. <laughs> 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 but a Absolutely. dusty rose, like a dusty pink. Okay. Yeah, I like a I like a dusty rose. Oh, that, that's definitely gorgeous. that's a co- yeah. yeah. That's the color of my that's my bedspread is that color right now. I don't know. Nice. I think part of it also is like the whole um you know about like pink washing that they do for like breast cancer awareness and all that mm-hmm. stuff. Oh, How yeah. That's like a that's shampoo. True. I think it kind of reminds me of that. Like when they have football players wear pink and they think they like did their part. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's that's true. True. That makes sense. That's, true. that's it. Would be funny if you were neon pink every day and people would be like, "Are you a survivor?" <laughs> 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 like every different, like uh, of something, yes. It's just amazing <laughs> that we as humanity were able to gender two colors. colors. Like, great, good yeah. job, everyone. We did. It's <laughs> annoying. <laughs> Fucking assholes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So stupid. <laughs> okay, let's see. Would you rather let a stranger lick your foot or you lick your best friend's foot? Obviously, Is there money involved? <laughs> I don't yeah. think there's money involved. No. Oh. Yeah, let a stranger lick my foot. Whatever. I mean, if that's what's good. It, I want, How come this is the only life? one that you were like, is there money involved? <laughs> <laughs> because it is a cottage industry. I mean, yeah, yeah. My, my grifter. Is, I mean, look, I've got a 3.9 in wiki feet, so I know what I'm worth. I've got to look mine up because it's been a while. Have what you looked at yours, Sarah? Five? No, what is that? Okay, oh, let's oh. Right, Let me see. Let me go in there and see if you're on it or not. It's, it's Wait, a, what? It's a web. You don't know about wiki <laughs> You haven't heard of this? It's a website for, oh, you're on here. Send it's a website line. where people like rate your feet. <laughs> yeah. And like every, every female comedian is on it. You're only, yeah. there's, you're on here. There's one picture of you. It's like a headshot where you're laying down and your feet are right here. I'll paste it in here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, we gotta get. Like, See, gotta you get have more. five beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have blown my mind today. I'm sorry, wow. it's true. <laughs> Holy shit! No, I believe me. I know it's. Uh, I mean, look, people who liked Sarah Cooper's feet also liked Sofia Vergara. Wow. Um, Alicia Keys, <laughs> Katy Perry, Rashida Jones. You're in good company. This is great company, Tatiana <laughs> Ali. I mean, oh, all the light skinned black girls. We get it. We get it. <laughs> Oh Jesus. my god, what? Oh my god, this is so funny. The, somebody posted, <laughs> Justine, who does our social media, she mm-hmm. posted like a video of herself dancing to my dance party, and, and I reposted, and someone put it on here. <laughs> so Justine's oh on my, my wiki feet now. Oh, sorry, Justine. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Justine. We've dragged you into Jesus. our 
Yeah, they somebody has been going through stories because pictures of my feet from my stories are popping up on my on my wiki feet now. And here's the thing: I'm not, not curating my feet and my stories because it's an it's it's a well, you know. No, a, I mean yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'm just, my my average is down, and it's always frustrating. <laughs> I hate that I have the lowest score of the three of us. I'm so sorry, me. Brandy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, okay. where is yours? Oh, here, uh, I said mine. I said mine over in the chat. <laughs> so this stupid. is not. There's why we need to make something like this for men. I don't know. Wait, this can make me feel good. Wait, I know. No, it's, it's really it's very stupid. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I have a lot of pictures on mine. Yeah. Um, I'm also only a four, Sarah. What are you, Brandy? I think I'm like, I think the last time I checked, I'm a four. I'm a four. But like it's a, I'm a little bit less than a four. Like I'm like a three point nine. Like the, the last star, star is not full all the way. <laughs> no, but, but you have you have nine people that said beautiful, six that said nice, seven that said okay. I mean, that's a lot of people that really like your all, feet. All I see are the four that say bad and the two that say ugly. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, Brandy, I have three uglies. Oh okay. <laughs> Okay, I have three uglies too, uh, and I've I have. Geez. I literally. Said, I want to. I want to hunt down the people that said bad or ugly, and be like, "What? What is wrong with my feet?" Yeah, I know, right? Like that'd what? be a really funny, yeah, <laughs> bounty <That> hunter <laughs> show. This is a really cute tracking picture. Down the people who rated our feet on Wiki. Also, if you're listening right now, because I think it's a listener. If you're listening and you're the one adding us to Wiki Feet, show yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Who we're are curious. you? This who is are definitely you? someone who listens to the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is. Yeah. I've got to send Justine a screenshot of this. This is really funny. Oh this is actually yeah. a really cute picture of me at my bachelorette party, but I don't ever <laughs> remember. It is creepy because, like, we just don't. Obviously, you know that there's strangers looking at it, but, like, it is a creepy reminder that it's like, oh, right, I've put all of this on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's stuff that I'm like, oh, I wasn't even like thinking about that part of myself in that photo or whatever. Right. Too. And it's like, oh, that's what you see when you see this. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I cool. don't know. <laughs> for me, it's a little bit of a confidence booster because I <laughs> I will say that like I've always said my feet are by far the ugliest part of my body. Like I well, you're a marathon runner. I'm a stuff. marathon runner. I'm a big barefoot person. Like I mm -hmm. just don't have attractive feet. So the fact that I have only three uglies is honestly <laughs> comforting. <laughs> only three uglies. That's the name of this episode. Um, I think you have to bounce, right, Sarah? I do, yeah. Um, yeah. Before this you go, been great. One more time. Oh, so you. much fun. Thank uh, you for doing it. Uh, where can you. everyone find you on social media and where can they find your books? Yeah, just go to sarahcpr.com. Um, I'm Sarah CPR on Twitter, Sarah CPR on Instagram, and yeah, you can find everything there. Awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks awesome. so much. Good to see you. Great seeing you. Mm -hmm. Take yeah. care. Good luck Bye. with everything. Right. Bye, hon. See Bye. you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, guys. All right, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Lady to Lady is brought to you in part by Liquid IV. Liquid IV is an easy, healthy solution for dehydration, and we absolutely love this stuff. Uh, if you know us, you know that we love being hydrated. That's the deal. And this stuff keeps us hydrated, whether we're up to no good or we're up to lots of good working out. We love this <laughs> stuff. It honestly works really well. Absolutely. Each uh, serving provides as much hydration as two to three bottles of water, plus vitamin C, B3, B5, B6, and B12. And if you're wondering what exactly it is, it's a powder that you mix into water, and it's very tasty. They have a bunch of different flavors. They actually have a new flavor called Yummy, which is based on the music of Justin Bieber. <laughs> Justin Bieber. You better believe it. You better believe it. It looks yeah. cool. Lava hibiscus. I mean, how Delicious. good does that sound? That is uh, like an ant. Oh my God. That's an ant flavor if I've ever heard mm. one. Just guava hibiscus. <laughs> That's what's hibiscus. great. It's for the ants. It's for the, the believers, <laughs> everybody who wants to be hydrated and... And love Justin Bieber at the same time. Yeah, we went on Liquid IV's website, and also right now, this is amazing. They have a yummy skater bundle where you can get uh, a bunch of uh, guava hibiscus, yummy uh, uh, Liquid IV, plus a tumbler, plus a Liquid IV Justin Bieber yummy skateboard. <laughs> Come on, everybody. You need this stuff. You, you want to yeah. learn a new skill in quarantine, this is what you want. You want to learn how to skateboard right now, get your Liquid IV skateboard. But for real, this... We love this stuff. Like, yeah, I've been having, you know, hangovers. This mm -hmm. is amazing. You go downstairs. It's just right there. It's ready for you. 
And they're actually, this is one of the things we love most about Liquid IV. They're on a mission to change the world. Liquid IV is donating 2.3 million servings in response to COVID-19. Products are being donated to hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, and active military. So they're also doing good in the world. Yeah. And like you guys, you guys know, we need to be taking care of ourselves like now more than ever, especially. And three out of four people um, are dehydrated, you know, and that, which can lead to headaches and dizziness and brain fog and muscle fatigue and cramps and dry skin and all these issues. And like this, like literally legitimately i take this every day i mean even during quarantine and stuff and it like makes me feel better and i'm like oh yeah i i will feel better after i take one and i'm like oh you've just been deeply dehydrated staring into the void and now i'm <laughs> hydrated and staring into the void thanks liquid IV. <laughs> just do it now while you're while you're thinking about it you're gonna be glad you have this stuff liquid IV is also available nationwide at target whole foods and costco or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code L, the number two L at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use promo code L, two L, L, the number two L at liquidiv.com. Get better hydration today at liquidiv.com, promo code L to L. Remember, you can also find them nationwide at Target, Whole Foods, or Costco. Get it. Hey, everybody. We're back in Lady to Lady. I'm Babs. I'm Brandy. I'm Tess. And Sarah had to jump, but we're going to go ahead and do Lady Problems. Thank you, guys. We've had people sending them in lately, so that's awesome. If you want to send us one, send it to Lady to Lady Comedy at gmail.com, and uh, we'll answer it. Lady problems. Do you have them? Lady problems. Do you have them? People have them. Also, if you're not in our Facebook group, it's a really, really fun group of listeners, and people sometimes post their stuff in there and talk about it amongst, you know, the listeners. So that's just Lady to Lady Podcast on Facebook if you search that. Mm -hmm. Also, one more thing I just noticed. Last time we just podcasted, Three out of four of us were wearing blue shirts, and this time all three of us are wearing green shirts. Whoa. Whoa. Weird. Oh, shit. That's crazy. That's kind of weird, not, right? Our periods aren't in sync, but our, no, our, our <laughs> colors fashion are. choice are. <laughs> I mean, our periods might be, actually. They could anyway. be. Yeah, that's um, very possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've got an IUD. I don't know what a period oh, is Oh, you're anymore. so lucky. Okay. Oh, all yeah, over the place. I forgot about that. <laughs> R.A.P. elective medical procedures. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, here we go. Hello. I'm a longtime listener and I love, love, love the show. My lady problem is a little lighthearted, but something that is a cause for friction. My boyfriend and I have been talking about engagement rings for the past six months to about a year. And we even went to a couple stores to look at types of rings and get my ring size. Well, I feel the weight is driving me crazy. He's mentioned that he once intended to ask, but the timing went bad. I believe this is when we went on vacation last year and I found out that my best friend had passed away. I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. Um, and he also said due to the lockdown, the backdrop for the big question has been taken away. Help. Mm. How do I not go psycho while waiting for him to ask me this big question? I love him very much and look forward to taking this next step with him, but this anticipation is killing me. I almost want to go snoop around, but I don't think that would resolve the problem and it'll probably just make it worse. Any advice would be appreciated. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> well, Tess knows about this. Yes, I went through this as well. It is absolute agony. And <laughs> I liken it to being like on an episode of Candid Camera and like you never know... <laughs> When the stunt is going to be, it's hell. Like, you're like, is this a romantic dinner or is this a romantic dinner? Like, is every this the romantic yeah, yeah. dinner? Yeah. Is this the one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's truly, and it is like this fine line of like, you want it to be a surprise and you kind of want that tension, but at a certain point, the um, mm -hmm. the tension jumps the shark. Yeah, right, for right, sure. right. Um, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you had, well, well, you. I don't know if you want to talk about it. When you guys went on a trip and you thought he, Sean was going to propose. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, here, I was like all braced for impact. I got a fucking manicure. I was like, here we go. Here we go. I remember looking at myself in the mirror and being like, last fucking minute as a single woman. And then. <laughs> on the <laughs> And then you were just in Costa Rica. Boy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I on mean, the way there, I was like, oh, he's so nervous. And then we got to the restaurant. And he was like, oh, man, I got really car sick in the van. And I was like, oh, is that? 
Oh my god! Have you talked to him about that trip? Like, yeah. since, like obviously yeah. now. Good. Okay. Yeah. That's so funny. Was he like planning anything then, or was, no. was it like not even no. on his thought about? <laughs> was he okay? So he proposed to you on Christmas or around Christmas? Like two right? days before Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. did he tell you later? Like, was that always his plan, or do you know? Um. No, I don't think that was always his plan. I think he like kind of re- like around Thanksgiving time is when he started ring shopping. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. So then um, it was just like feeling it, waiting for the right opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't think snooping is mean, going to help because it's like, like either way, if you find something or if you don't, it's not going to do much, you know? No. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like she should tell him that the lockdown thing is like, don't worry about it. Because like, I don't know. I think it's fine to get engaged at home unless mm-hmm. you really, we got engaged at home. I don't know. Unless you really, if that's what you don't want. So, I feel like it's like sometimes like, guys think that you want something unless you like tell them directly that you don't care. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like maybe he thinks that you need to be like out somewhere with like a four string quartet or something. And you need to communicate to him that like, you'd be more than happy to do something romantic at home. Yeah. It's about the two of you. It's not about this like big massive moment thing or something. Yeah. Y- yeah. I-, I think that's good to communicate. I mean, obviously it's kind of awkward to like bring up, mm-hmm. you know, but I, I guess yeah, you've been talking about it. You went to a couple. I mean, you could maybe tease him and be like, "So, where's that ring or something?" But I don't know. <laughs> I would suggest that. I mean, maybe not not directly. So, where's that? Okay, here's what I did. Mm-hmm. Like two days before we got engaged, um, Sean was like, "What should we ask my mom for for Christmas? Maybe like dishes, new dishes." And I was like, "Well, dishes are usually something you get when you're engaged." <laughs> <laughs> You guys should see the, the maniacal look in Tessa's eyes when she said that. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> it was a scheme. It was a scheme. Yeah. It's <laughs> all plan hatched. Yeah. I yeah. think comments like that just to nudge them along the way are very helpful, I think. Yeah, I for mean, sure. They've already been ring shopping. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's obviously that it's going to, it's obvious it's going to happen, but yeah, I think it's about, commun- like you said, it's about how does she communicate to him that it's like, if, if this is how she feels, which I'm assuming it is, is that she's cool with it happening, you know, wor- yeah, in whatever setting. Yeah. Um, it's hard to communicate that without being like too on the nose. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I, and I could see like from his, if he's had like this, like, this is the way I want it to be. It sounds like there's, he's had now two times where he's like, this is what I want it to be. Okay. Plan B is now this. Oh shit. Because of the pandemic now I don't, you know, right, he's like right, right. had these moments, these thoughts, like, you know, it, that, that's gotta be difficult for him too. to be like, Oh, I like knew how I wanted to do it. I was like amped up for that thing. And then now it's not, I just want it to be perfect. And like, that's that delay is, is is him also showing how much he loves and cares about you too because he wants the moment to be perfect like it's not like he's putting it off for any totally you know, i mean it's yeah. a very like she said it's a light-hearted like it's a good mm-hmm. problem to have and exactly for sure yeah it's really sweet yeah i mean i just think like next time you're watching a movie or maybe you could like intentionally put on a movie where someone gets engaged i think find mm-hmm. little ways to like wedge this into the conversation and drop like not so subtle hints that's what i yeah. think yeah, just start wearing white dresses you, <laughs> in quarantine every day. Do you think it's a better approach? Let me, I can't think of exact movie examples, but like, say, do you think it's a better approach to watch a movie with a huge engagement where she's like, oh God, that's like too much? Or <laughs> do you somehow find one like, an, a, you know, a simple one and be like, oh, that's sweet. I'd love that. <laughs> do we, do we have any movie recommendations? I'm going to look up best engagement scene movies. I mean, I feel best. like they're probably, I guess I can, I can only think of like, engagement like youtube things where they go and you know they do crazy big like shit like prom proposals yeah exactly <laughs> yeah let's see um my big big fat greek i haven't seen most of these movies i don't even know is it still raining what does that mean what is that movie <laughs> 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 marriage proposal scenes that'll make you cry oh like in like love actually there's a couple <gasps> what about while you were sleeping Oh yeah, well, put that is, on. How, he drops the ring instead of a subway token. He drops the ring. Oh the... yeah, that's cute. Oh, that's a perfect one. That's like a very subtle Simple, one. But and you thoughtful. can just be like, "Oh my god, that's so sweet." I love how they just did it. <laughs> I mean, honey, just get a job for the transportation authority. <laughs> perfect time to do that. And 
Oh man, I'm just looking up like a list of best proposals and there's the a clip of like the Sex in the City one with Big and Carrie God. and he gives her a Manolo Blahnik instead of an engagement. I love me. it. Oh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh man. It's so if, funny. If it looking. was anyone else, I would love it, but I just, just him. No, Big's such a dick. Oh, yeah. I it's love a, Big. Come on. No, he's the worst. Uh, oh, big sucks. On. Rewatching it, it's just like, it's hard, you know. Yeah, I'm it's very of its time. I'm rewatching it, and I still love Big, and I still love that show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so I'm funny. Team Aiden for sure, but yeah, her and yeah. Big Well, like, Christopher special. Noth is like, he's so dweeby looking. When you watch it now, you're like, this was like the the heart heartthrob hot guy that they found. Really, Chris Chris Knopf? I think he's still hot in it. I just how he treats her makes me upset. Well, yeah, 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 yeah of course. He's like you know total fuck man about the whole thing. <laughs> fuck yeah. man. But Carrie's yeah. kind of a fuck man too. Oh, she is. I mean, here's why she fucked over Aiden. She was a fuck man to Aiden. Yeah, yeah. I mean, most people in that show are not good people. So it's like, oh it's come hard. on. <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I can't. I can't stand Carrie Bradshaw. Oh. <laughs> Last week. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. This is why the podcast works. We all agree and disagree on different things. <laughs> I'm excited to hear your engagement story, though. Uh, uh, a lady, a lady, lady writing in. <laughs> a lady. Yeah. Hi, I mean, Annie. obviously, it's yeah. I obviously it's going to happen, but that anticipation's just got to be wild. I can't. I think you just got to tell them it's fine to do it at home. Somehow communicate for that sure. Thing. Well, and also I will say, like you know, I'm. I'm I, I don't know what, what like that anticipation feels like and it does seem like it's agony, but also like it's gotta be nice to have something to look f- forward to like that in quarantine, right? Yeah, like that's I, yeah. You know? It's like a fun thing really like, ooh, okay. My first thought every morning isn't about the ennui of the world. It's like, ooh, is today the day? <laughs> <laughs> and enjoy this time because like once that does happen, then you know, then you're in a different phase of your life too. Right, right. Yeah. No. I'm, yeah, I'm let us excited. know what happens. I'm excited to hear. Yeah, super excited for you. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> um, super cool. Yeah, that's our episode, y'all. Thanks for um, being here and hanging out with us in this wild time. And uh, if you want to hear, we're going to do a top secret session. So if you are a Patreon member, you can hear that on your Patreon feed. If you're curious at all about Patreon, we do bonus episodes once a month. We do these top secret sessions each week mm-hmm. and other fun There's, stuff. So, so you can go to patreon.com slash lady to lady to find out about all that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll see you guys over there and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Have a good one. Bye bye. 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 Can't get enough of us? Subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive bonus content, access to our first 100 episodes and more. Go to patreon.com slash lady to lady now to sign up. As little as a dollar a month keeps a roof over the glam cave and keeps you laughing, even when your coworkers stare. That's patreon.com slash lady to lady. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter and Instagram at lady to lady comedy. Join our Facebook group, Lady to Lady Podcast, to chat with other fans about episodes or even post your own lady problems. Check out our website, ladytoladycomedy.com, for show notes, videos, and merch. And duh, follow our individual accounts, Babs Gray, Brandazzle, and Testify Barker for jokes and info and where you can see us perform live. And if you want to send us snacks, stickers, or a lock of your own hair, I don't know, whatever, our P.O. Box is 412-794, Los Angeles, California, 90041. And please, leave us a review on iTunes, but only if you like us. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.